now who's up and coming? What's coming up? We talking television, film, entertainment, and such. The hottest topic here, we got it in the clutch. Sports, fashion, politics, now who better than... Okay, we're back, we're back, guys, with the one and only, you give it up for my man Palmer Williams Jr. Yeah! yeah. We're back in black. Yeah. Yes, 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 the Palmer, man. Funny yeah. guy. Funny, funny, yes. funny. Yes. Man, I am the sleepy guy right now, but I am very, very excited Would you consider yourself a comedian? A comedic actor with comedian tendencies. I think that would probably be the best thing to say about okay. that. But I, I really, really enjoy just making people laugh. It's like a right. drug, and I'm sure you, you can attest to it. It's, it it's, 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 um, it's much better than weed. I mean, speaking for myself, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't, never smoke weed. Okay. I love crack, but I don't <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy... You know, sinking my teeth in some some projects mm -hmm. and and being able to take something from the page to the right. stage is is amazing and mm -hmm. the, the the live element of it is really really because you do a lot of theater. Fun. Yes, do a lot of theater stuff. Doing something this weekend. Are you really? Yeah, what you doing? for Tell uh, us. Turner AME uh, Church mm -hmm. up in uh, Marietta, mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing a show called Sticks and Stones, and I'm actually playing a very serious role this time. Mm -hmm. I get to be funny for one line, <laughs> and it is the hardest thing to discipline yourself. To try not to just throw another little line in there every now and then, so it's like it's like comedy Tourette's. It's it's hard to try to keep yourself from. It, it, oh, it's just so many jokes right there, but you had to control yourself so because that's not my purpose. Friday, Saturday, yes. Sunday. Two shows on Saturday and one on Sunday. So it's a gospel play. Um, I would say that's what it is, mm -hmm. but uh, it's uh, pretty strong content about bullying and mm -hmm. and police brutality, right. um, our community as a whole, and doing some self-checking. Mm. It's called Sticks and Stones, written by a good friend of mine, uh, Denise Turner, and uh, her husband, uh, Andrew, very, very cool people. Where can they buy tickets? Where can they go? Well, you can go on uh, Turner AME Church website. Okay. Turner AME uh, website, and uh, I'll be taking donations afterwards <laughs> because uh, I'm sowing seeds in this particular one. So, mm. so I'll be outside with the bucket. Okay. You know. but, so uh, let me ask you, man. So starting out, you, you've done a lot of... Uh, Film, the TV shows, movies, and everything. So, how did you get started in the business? What, what was your starting point? I was a vocalist. Well, I still am a vocalist. I started out as a singer, and uh, I just knew I was going to do that and try to get that record deal and all that. But somewhere along the way, somebody told me that I was slightly funny, and so from that, and, you know, they told me to hone your gift, and I started doing that and started. Uh, I started out as a background singer for Key Sweat and, oh, wow. and Monica, LSG. Yeah, I did the whole tour with them. Sure I can, sure I can. I, uh, let's see, what should I say? Oh, so long for this night I pray That a star will guide you my way To share with me this special day Where a river's in the sky for our love, love and that's with chap lips. <laughs> yeah, man. I can feel our chap there. No, no, no. Hey, Palmer, I, I got to work with Palmer on a play called For Better, For Worse. Oh, yeah. Uh, went up at the Civic Center. Uh, nice. you know, Lydia Pace was in it, Montel Jordan, yeah. Nick Sky, the whole team. Jason, this is yeah. great. That's why I met Jason Sylvain. And right. this guy right here. But yeah. when I tell you, he wrote, produced, directed, starred in the play, just hold, held it down the whole time. He did this character. What's Bish, what was Bishop's name? Oh, God. Bishop Ulysses uh, Eloysius Johnson. Done. When I tell you, it brought <laughs> the house down every night. It's on YouTube, too. It it's brought still the house down. And you should see his face because the cast didn't know what I was going to wear. Yeah, yeah. And so when I came out, of course, you know, the stone face over, he was just like, <laughs> like, really, dude? Is this what you're wearing crazy? right now? Oh, oh I had my, my shirt. My stomach was all out. Oh we were God. back there destroying Krispy Kreme donuts. Because <laughs> one of the titles he did put on there, I was like part-time caterer. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. he had to bring in all the food from you the like back. A, is that why you click with Tyler Perry? Because he do everything. You would think. You know, it's all written down <laughs> that he does everything. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, Maybe that's an example, but uh, I was doing the plays before I actually got involved with Tyler mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it was uh, actually when I was dancing in church is when he actually had attended the church, New Birth, where I was. Uh, okay. uh, who you a praise uh, dancer? No, that's oh. what's crazy. <laughs> so I was on the praise team, Makes but then sense. someone asked me to be a praise dancer for this one particular uh, 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 ministry moment instead of a performance. So I went up there and did this uh, performance ministry, and uh, all of a sudden... 
I'm doing a dance, and I'm like, man, I don't dance like this. This is I'm close to the Leroy alien instead of the Alan alien. <laughs> Put up there and start dancing and stuff, and uh, tore the church up, man, for three weeks. I was like, man, I ain't gonna do this. They gonna laugh at me, and sure enough, three weeks later we did it, and uh, God kind of whispered in my ears like. Mm-hmm. If you don't shut up and do this, I got something so much bigger for you. Wow. And I uh, didn't know I was two minutes away from the promise. That's what God's voice sounds like. I've been ignoring it sounds that. Like, but it sounds <laughs> like you. That's the thing a lot of people don't understand. You think they it's think your, it, you know, it's going to be, oh, oh, it's gonna be all this. No, it sounds like you. That's and a good um, sure enough, came point. in, did it. Church was torn up. And then all of a sudden, I get a phone call the next day. From Tyler Perry Studios, mm. and called the one lady that had my cell phone number who wow. I just done her son's graduation party, Miss mm-hmm. Lori Allen, and called and she answered the phone of all the people in Newburgh staff. Wow! And uh, she gave them my personal cell phone number. They called and said we had an audition at eleven or one. Which one do you want? Alpha Tyler. Wow. Shout yeah. out to Alpha Tyler. Alpha yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, was cast right now working the scan down in Savannah. That's true. But um, yeah, she. Yeah. Uh, uh, called me in. I said I'll be there at 11. At 10, 15, what I was in the was parking this? lot. This was 11 years ago. Wow. Wow. I was in the parking lot, snotting, crying, and crying, and uh, praying, and saying, before God. Before the audition or after? Before the audition. I was, uh, <laughs> I was 45 minutes early. So I <laughs> sat out there and was looking over those five lines I had, like it was a book. Mm-hmm. And I was studying it and crying and caring. I was like, Lord, if you just make me a good steward over this man's stuff, I know you're going to make me Lord over my own one day. And I went in there, 15 minute audition turned to two hours. That night, they had dropped the script on my wow. uh, doorstep. Fifteen minutes after they got off the phone, said they wanted me for House of Pain. Wow. Six wow. days later, I was shooting. Wow. I didn't want to do that dance. I complained about it the whole time. Diesel was uh, $4.99 a gallon, and I'm driving that same diesel truck today. Are you serious? Yeah, I drove it today. I guess that's, that's my baby. Because mm-hmm. because of that, I was able, but that and Bishop Law giving me a donation for writing an Easter production, I was able to pay off my truck. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. You the like first Easter production. Too. Oh, the first <laughs> Easter production, he paid me enough to get a down payment on that truck. The next year, I made off. enough money from the Easter production the next year to pay out the truck. Wow. wow. See, we, we asked God for things and we wanted to come a certain way. You just we don't, don't, you don't know exactly. how it's going to If it came the way we oh. wanted it to, we destroy ourselves. Yeah. I would have been dead a long you time had ago. No idea if I had come like that. done a show like this and I was about 23 years old, oh, oh the biggest hoe. Oh, oh, my goodness. How many yeah, yeah. kids would I right, have right, right. that wow. that know me? So you, you, had, you, had, you had a great run on um, Love Thy Neighbor, and yes. that's coming to a close this year. Yes. Final yeah. season. How, How so many what, seasons did it go? Uh, well, they, they listed it as four, but it actually is almost six. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's uh, six uh, cycles, so to speak, because we shot 22 episodes last year. And we shot them all in seven days. Stop playing. No, I wish I was wow. playing. It should be some sort of... Uh, World's Same record way. or something. Yeah, so we 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 blocked off a month. Episodes in seven days. How yes, is that possible? Sh- it, uh, believe me, when I did minutes. it, I didn't even know my kid's name. I was like, "Come here, little boy, look like me." <laughs> and even though he's Palmer the Third, right. I didn't even know his name because I was just all I knew was Brain script. Was right. Brain was right. So what we did is that the first four days we shot twelve, and then we took the rest of the weekend off, and then came back and shot the last ten in three days. Wow. So does Tyler Perry direct? Yes, every last one of the episodes. Oh, I don't Until he gets tired or something, he has to do something, he'll make uh, Mark Swinton come in and finish the episode. Okay. Okay. But, you know, he, he's written it, produced it, uh, directed it, all of that. You let, know. Me, let me ask you something. Is, yes, is Tyler Perry a vampire? Does this man sleep? No, no. But seriously. I, 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 I've I, seen him blink a couple of times, <laughs> long time blinking. He's so that may have been a nap. He's like, a machine. Right, right. right. Can be a crazy. good experience? Oh, it's a very good experience. Yeah. I know what to do and what not to do mm-hmm. when it comes to productions. Um, speed is something that I would like to do. Okay. And Dwayne has had experience. We definitely need to talk about when we were trying to shoot uh, what we were doing together. Mm-hmm. And it drives me crazy now because it just seems like it takes too long. <laughs> it's like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. And so, like, I've been ruined. Yeah. To, uh, That's with speed, true. you know. Yeah. But the thing is, too, it's got to be quality. Right. And I think if you take your time with it and, and, and let it marinate a little bit with your mindset and with the actors, mm-hmm. then you'll get a better product. Uh, uh, Dwayne is actually, uh, I'll tell you just how much confidence I have in Dwayne's acting ability. I took myself out of the lead role of my own show and put him in my place. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so that I could just direct it myself and not put myself <laughs> in a very small small park and then plus I know he's connected to y'all so I know it's gonna blow up but anyway no, 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 what it is is that Dwayne has always been very supportive of everything I've done when I did that show at the Civic Center 
He had all the kids from his class. Well, I say yeah. kids, but most of them were adults. Yeah. They they came in. They were extras in the yeah. show. The Didn't expect to get any money because they were coming for free. Right. But just so happened that, you know, gave him a love offering. And okay. one particular lady that gave a love offering, she started shouting because of the exact same amount that she needed to pay the difference in her mortgage to keep her from being thrown out. Wow. wow. So you don't even know. And I just think it was just a little love offering. Oh, but to her, it was everything. everything. No. So yeah. you don't know how God works things out. Absolutely. And then here it is now. What? We... How many years in now? Yeah, 15, 15 years, yeah. 17 15 years, 15 years, years, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still trying no. to do it. Well, man, you've always been a supportive uh, person just for the um, other artists. And, and, you know, so it's no, it's, no, it's no brainer that, of course, you're stepping out now and getting back into doing your own thing. So what's oh, next yeah. for you? What's next? Well, definitely we're, we're cutting mm -hmm. up and editing Armor Bearer, there which is the show that Dwayne plays the actual Armor Bearer. Mm -hmm. The Armor Bearer, you know, for those who don't know what an Armor Bearer is, uh, usually it's the executive assistant or like the, the helper or whatever of a mega church pastor or any kind of pastor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that person that does anything from washing their clothes possibly to jumping in front of a bullet for them. Mm -hmm. So, the hands are yeah, and then they're right there. They're constantly there. You've seen so many pastors, and if you look closely, and every time you see them, you'll see there's that person. one person sure. or persons that are around. Well, yeah. that's the, the part that he's playing, but he's also former military. He's also former police. But in the uh, first pilot episode, the backstory is he actually shot and killed his first wife mm -hmm. because he caught her in bed with his police partner. But it was accidental because his partner shot first. So without telling too much of it. So now we fast forward years later, he's remarried, he's gone through therapy and all that, but he's also suffering from PTSD. Mm -hmm. So that's so a, it's a television show. Yeah. It definitely yeah. is, but it yeah. definitely can be made into a movie because mm -hmm. this particular story is loosely based on a good friend, my mm -hmm. children's uh, godfather. He actually um, lost his battle with PTSD December 8th, a year ago, uh, this past uh, December 8th. And so it's kind of a dedication piece. Mm -hmm. And my goddaughters are now, you know, I'm the, the male figure that's trying to step in mm -hmm. the gap, you mm -hmm. know, for right. the loss. He was only 41 years old. Wow. So, okay. you know, oh my and, God. And are you serious? baby girls get ready to go to uh, University of Alabama. And uh, yeah, roll down tide, <laughs> struck a nerve. Mm -hmm. So and then I'm still. You can see the the cuts from where I slashed my wrist from the Clemson game. I'm just, <laughs> just not healing from being in that warm tub of water. You're talking about PTSD, things, man, yeah. and I think I, you know, I think the, uh, you hit on something that, especially in our community, we don't talk enough about. Well, we don't think we're we're crazy except for that one person in your community, or Crazy Tony, yeah. or mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy Curtis. Curtis. Yeah, crazy yeah. Tyrone, well, it was, was Holly Rock for us. I don't know what the hell. Everybody got a cousin that's a but little off too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And mine actually um, uh, offed himself. It was PTSD, mm -hmm. and he was in the Air Force, wow. and uh, he actually hung himself in a mental hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, and because he thought he was uh, being reborn in Africa, wow. and he had gotten to the point where he was dressing in African garb that he made. Mind you, it's household products like garbage bags and stuff like that. But he did have an African spear where he had toured Africa when he was in the Air Force. And the um, only person he could really talk to him was like myself and his youngest daughter. And people say that crazy knows crazy. So I don't know if maybe that's the reason why you talk to me. But, <laughs> but he it did was just get, really did sad. Did he try to get professional help? Did yeah, he was in him? the actual hospital. Yeah. Sometimes the pharmaceuticals will actually push you over the brink. Thanks. Because some of the side effects are suicidal tendencies and thoughts. Yes. And you're trying to treat mental illness. So where does that work? Unbelievable. You know, so you you have to really look at some holistic and natural means of doing yes. things. And then for those kids that you think that you just whoop their tail, that they'll straighten up. No. You know, yeah. yeah, but try to keep them off medicine. That's yeah. that's my public service announcement. Mm -hmm. They keep yeah. them off medicine. So what would you tell? Um, you know, we in Atlanta. Right, right. Independent film community is huge out here. Right. You know, they look at you on TV and all these these plays and something. You're you're inspiring. What would you tell them? You know, as far as fulfilling their dreams. First things first, TV? I would tell them is to stop asking me to meet Tyler Perry because <laughs> I I don't know how right. to do that. You know, and plus it's it's a process. You know, just like I explained the process on how I you know was was blessed to be able to work over there. I would say uh, invest in yourself. You have a set of Air Jordans that you'll pay $250 for, and you want to meet Tyler Perry. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Where's your headshot? Where's your resume? What have you done? Have you done anything? If you haven't done anything, have mm -hmm. you created your own gig? Because right. everybody's creating their own gig on social media social right now, now and creating a platform and, and, and a brand. Right. So what are you doing in order to improve your chances of being discovered or to create your own gig? That's what... Myself, I know Dwayne, you, you, you all know that we can create our own gig right. and create your own destiny, so to speak, right. or at least put it in motion. 
I would tell them to invest in themselves. Stop worrying about what your gear looks like right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and go out oh, there man. and create your brand. Get it done. And then everybody can be in front of the camera. It, what do they do? After they, and then start to an invest anyway, in yeah. trying to get an agent, possibly. Uh, put it before some people on social media. Uh, 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 find out and create a team. Mm -hmm. Create a team of creatives around you mm -hmm. that are connected or may not be connected yet. Create a noise for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then the industry will come to you because sure. when they notice that you got all these hits, all these followers and stuff like that, it's like, oh, we need to see who this person is. Mm -hmm. And can they go, like, a shout out to my girl, Top Notch World, Teresa. Mm -hmm. You know, she's done something. Now she has an agent. Mm -hmm. You know, so here it is now. She went from blowing up on the Internet to Ooh. now she's going to get legitimate jobs. She gave me a class a couple times. I yes. Was, um, I sent her there. Yeah. You owe me I, money. You are. You are you, <laughs> yeah. She I came was, to your showcase as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. Just got her braces taken off, mm -hmm. so she, she's, she's good to nut. go. She's mm -hmm. a nut. Oh, complete. <laughs> well, there we, should we, be we, some medication. For we're that. gonna move on to our next segment. We're gonna keep you on board, just Palmer. Uh, okay. Seen it, seen it. We're gonna play seen it. Okay. And uh, we always do this every week. It's something we do on the show. So yeah. this week we're gonna think of mm -hmm. badass women in fight scenes and movies. In, in light of the whole Taraji, in light of the, me along, so that's what you want. Yeah, <laughs> right. let's let's see which <laughs> badass <laughs> women. Because they're both bad now. So you just yeah. shout out a name. Yeah, oh, shout out a name. I'm thinking if you Vivica the Fox. Uh, okay. Kill Bill, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was awesome. yeah. And what's the lady's name that was on Undercover Brother? I don't know her name. And I should. Because she's actually up. played... Uh, Regina, Regina Hall is Regina Hall? No. no, 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 no. She, I think she played Denzel's wife one time also. I don't know her name. In a movie uh, when he was oh. in the middle of that pool and he Not was... Not Robin uh, Thicke's ex wife. No, oh, no, no, no. Dave Chappelle was in that movie. Yeah, he was a uh, uh, a radical brother or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, that was a conspiracy good movie. brother. Conspiracy brother, right? Yes. <laughs> What's yes. the name of the movie? You might make me go uh, home. Undercover watch, brothers. Watch undercover brothers. So, Sean, who who's who's your badass, kick ass, woman in the fight scene? Who is it? Uh, God, you didn't give me a chance. Can you can we come back I'll to come me? Back. What about you, Angelina Jolie? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Why? Her? She's always like. Just bad. Like in she's one take. Remember the movie? Yeah, remember one. Remember the one. She was handling that, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's always like. Yeah. She, yeah. Well, I like um, that. What about Lisa Wu? Oh, yeah, she, she does. Yeah, does, yeah, yeah, yeah she does a couple of things. She, so she did the uh, Charlie's you? Angels. Mm -hmm. Oh. See, I'm, I'm going to keep it real grimy and keep it grounded and keep it okay. something like that. And okay. they actually pull something out. I'm going to go with Keisha from New Jack City. Rock and bye, baby. She had a gun. Yeah. That's all you need. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, somebody's like, Grandpa. Or whatever she's saying right there. Step off, right? Step off. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Got New Jack City. I yeah, felt like uh, oh, she was she was gangster. Mm -hmm. She was yeah. trying to find out. What about uh, I don't I forget her name. Pam Greer. Pam yeah. Greer. Yeah, 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 she's one yeah. of the OGs, the originals. And Zoe yeah, Saldana, you know, we can. Zoe Saldana yeah, and yeah. Pam Greer. Still and Cam, Cam, what's it? She's in everything right now. Guardians of the Galaxy, just yeah. everything. You're uh, making uh, a Avatar too. Yeah. What are yeah. you not a cougar yeah. anymore when you become like a mountain lion or something? Jada Pinkett Smith. What? What? Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. Low down, dirty shame. Yeah. Set it off. She was like. Set it off. Kinda. She was the voice of reason to set it off. She was, I think right? Cleo was the one that. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah yeah, blowed yeah, it down yeah. and set it yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd be scared to fight Queen Latifah. Six minutes, guys. Six yeah. minutes. We got six minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's her. That's her. That's um, her. Yeah. yeah, so. Um, yeah, that's her. Uh, anything else? We're in the second five yeah. industry. We have time for uh, informational resources. Anything that we need to talk about, actors' assets, any workshops, any classes to stay sharp. Do you think people need to like study and go to classes and stuff like that? Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. But make sure you find a legitimate class from somebody that's actually done stuff. Right. And, 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 <laughs> and that's actually going to collaborate with people this summer. You know, adult and children that are going to collaborate this summer. Let me let me say let me say this, man. I I got a friend that he he's like I want to start a, a comedy teach a comedy class. Just go for it. Because Atlanta is this place, even if you ain't legit, <laughs> right. you can start anything. Yeah. Lots of people. You couldn't, the stuff you couldn't pull off in New York or LA, right, right, right. you can pull off here. You better try to get a free you know, trial off the first before you start paying. Oh, yeah, yeah, they the, shut the, something the, down because they were charging. Cash director workshops. They yeah. got out of hand, man. They were making people pay to see cash directors. Right, pay but deal. you could pull that off in Atlanta. Yeah. The stuff yeah. you can't pull off in LA and New York. <laughs> they come to Atlanta. Just so you're trying to say Atlanta's not legit? No, no, he's right. Because now you're seeing, you're seeing a lot more scams mm -hmm. come to town. You see, you're a probably seeing a lot of, of people that are secretly dying that we don't realize why. And it's because they try to pull off a scam like that and they end up behind a dumpster. Right, right, so. right. What's, what's, what's your Casablanca? 
John got some pocket money. <laughs> oh, I had a friend who just he just got through paying his how much? 15, pay? I think he paid fifteen hundred dollars. For what? He didn't, he didn't Dude, get it. Dude, hey, didn't tell your friend, come see us. We'll charge you nine fifty, 50 and we'll do better than <laughs> that. No, no, when I came to town, when I first came here, I went to a place called uh, William Reynolds, and I didn't know any better. And then they, they told me, oh, you're great. You, you know, we're going to get you headshots and everything else. They want to be paid like $700, three installments. I was like, what? So you got to really be I did that for my kid when I first got for here. All y'all got listening. Yeah. The what only you thing you should be paying you your agent this? for is headshots. That's it. You well, you don't have to pay. You don't have to do that. They'll refer you to somebody, but here's the thing. You know, if an agent sees value in you, they'll they'll want to work with you. They'll want to bring you on. Right. That's what that's what they make. You should be paying for okay. In other words, you shouldn't be paying for anything. No, if you had to pay more for your headshots than the cost of the camera, <laughs> then that might right, not right, be the place right. for you. Right. No, but I think you there's, there's so many great resources now. We got to really start sharing information and like because yes. I hear so many parents come to me says Dwayne, I paid three thousand dollars. I don't want to do this anymore. Mm -hmm. The thing in the mall, what's it? What's it look? Would you bring your kids to the mall? Right. That's a scam. Right. I mean, that's yeah. gotta be a you shame, talking about the one that's up there in, in uh, Cobb County? Like I mean, all, all these but no, this is the thing that bothers me. Even when you hear some that I won't mention the name that you know. Uh, no, no, no I, names need to be mentioned. Okay, well they honor the Lord. That's the same. <laughs> oh, you them, know oh. which one I'm talking about. Yeah. And then so you okay. know, and then so now you give the Lord a bad name. So mm -hmm. now Jesus got a bad reputation yeah. around town. You know, well, Christ does. Yeah. But uh, you know, because now of some church. of the the, the 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 handlings and stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, like the actors and singers for right. you know. Yeah, yeah. And so you know, I've seen because I've had people I've seen bad I've seen those. Exactly. Okay. Well, if there's a big cattle call, guys, a lot of times that's just what it is—a cattle call. So. You gotta be careful, man. And there's like, it's a quick hit. Right? Quick be fix smart. To get be some smart. money. Be smart. They're, they're yeah. looking at Atlanta like a market to come take advantage of. Invest exactly. in yourself. Absolutely. Don't buy Jordans. Buy your dog on headshot. Well, we want to thank Palmer thank for you, hanging out with us. Oh, you so I'm so glad, I'm so glad I didn't turn into angry Negro today because I've been so mad with the industry sometimes because yeah. people are just getting taken and it's just yeah. it's just time for us to do. Uh, please, please collaborate. Yeah. Please, right. I'd That's rather make 30% of something than 100% of nothing because yeah, you, you know, can have the greatest script that never laugh. was heard. Yeah, or some people are afraid to get their stuff out there. I don't want nobody to steal it. Well, you, nobody ever hear it because exactly. it's in your head. Well, don't steal it. Uh, uh, you don't have to get it stolen if you copyright it. You you How much it costs copyright? Oh, my goodness. What, less than $100? I think, do, isn't it $20 to do something on 25. Writer's you Guild? WGA.org. Yeah. Yeah. Go there. Mm -hmm. yeah, then then you also got, like, you can make a catalog. True. True for the same amount. Yeah. It's, it's just not, and get an attorney. Yeah, well, an who entertainment an attorney. attorney. Well, you, 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 Sometimes <laughs> the entertainment attorneys <laughs> are also uh, uh, prepaid legal. So hello, <laughs> there it is, prepaid legal. Now, that'd be a good reason. Oh, yeah. Shout out to all those folks that the, what they call it, legal shield. Now, <laughs> Selena, Selena just said it's twenty dollars to get yourself some copy. There it is. So Selena there it is. Also just said it's What's the website? Please. What's the website? Please do your stuff with uh, copyrights. Mm -hmm. Songwriters, you see, uh, ask, ask uh, Thick about that, that uh, yeah. copyright. Yeah, mm. you got to get sued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when you do live uh, shows and stuff, like when I do live shows, because I'm a, a, a BMI member, I'm sorry, oh. ASCAP rather, and then with, by doing that, when I went and did one show out in LA, they actually sent me a check because I wrote all the songs in the show. Wow. Because they were a licensed building, and I was, and that was after the promoter tried to sh shice to me mm -hmm. on some uh, some money, and I got that check, and it's like seven thousand something dollars. So you I said, I got some writing some more damn songs. He's singing, he's singing. Yeah, he doing it all. He's doing it all. You're preaching. Got right. four kids. They need to eat. I don't know. There's some got that big house in the same neighborhood. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Look, I'm just trying to get my kids to fast. Yeah. No, but yeah, <laughs> the Negroes want to eat every damn day. Speaking of music, that's we that's got that. the rhyme from 112 coming up next week, next so we'll be yes. talking to them about that. But yeah, I didn't know you was that heavy in the music game. Like oh that. my goodness, that's all yeah. I wanted. to And do. the week after that, we have. Um, Adrian, who's going to talk about writing. He's a writer. Adrian Dukes? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Adrian Dukes. Do you know that, that's my first writing partner? Wow. Look at Can that. a woman make a man lose his mind? Adrian Dukes and I wrote, yeah, I used to sleep on his couch in the Polo Club apartments in Stone Mountain wow. with him and his cousin, French Spencer, who was an instructor at AI, and we all grew up together in Knoxville, Tennessee. That's great. Adrian Shout out to Adrian Thank you guys for and French. That's who called somebody. It is Pop Waves, guys. Week. Thank you guys. See you next week. Yes. One o'clock. God next bless. Thursday. School. Going down. Industry school. Armor Bear is coming. Look Boom. forward. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Now let me fix my radio. Go ahead. Here we go. AG, hey, I got you.